Hi there, everyone. It is currently the uh, 27th of July, 2012. Hope everybody's going to be enjoying their Friday out here in the Western Pacific. And I do want to start off on a, uh, well, it's going to be a happy note for many people across much of Japan. The official end of the rainy season uh, was on here on your Thursday, July 26th. So great news of that. Unfortunately, it sounds kind of uh, ironic because there's still rain showers popping up across much of Japan really due to this daytime heating because it has been exceptionally hot. Uh, temperatures actually in some places rose up to near the 40 degree mark uh, down towards or around uh, Osaka and Kyoto right around the Tokai region so lots and lots of hot temperatures but talking about the rainfall uh, across much of southern China it has been wet and also we're first going to talk about what everybody's really interested in here is the potential of a new tropical system forming up just towards the east of the Philippines. And that is this right here, been dumped in Vest 93W just towards the east of Visayas, about uh, 200 kilometers towards the north-northwest of Palau. That is this little tiny island right there. Uh, it has been spinning up here. Uh, let's look a little bit closer on the infrared slash visible imagery. Maybe you might be able to see the center of circulation, which has been ever so slowly attempting to consolidate and organize there just towards the northwest of Palau right around this area is where it is and yeah, regardless of the circulation though it is enhancing that southwest monsoon so much of Mindanao you have been seeing some heavy rainfall even up there towards Visayas actually saw some reports upwards of about 100 millimeters recorded uh, just west of Manila right in this area so thunderstorm activity is definitely on tap for you as this continues to blow up but if you cannot see the circulation here you definitely will be able to see it on the microwave imagery because the microwave imagery allows you to peer through these higher cloud tops now you do have a lot of thunderstorm activity out there towards the north that is all of the these uh, very you know, high areas actually in the reds and yellows. That's indicating those uh, places where you can probably be seeing lightning, a very strong winds, etc. But look down here just south of that. You can see this banding coming around and then a very light center of circulation. That's really some of uh, cumulus clouds, but it does show a circulation just towards the northwest of Palau. This is where the storm system is at this time, and it does look like very likely could develop up into a tropical depression. Actually, so let's take a look at Japan Meteorological Agency's 48 hour out. And I show you this because they have stamped a tropical depression here just towards the east of Asaya, so 1004 HPA. Remember, this is uh, set for uh, the 28th here at 00 UTC, so that would be about Saturday morning when this analysis is uh, set for. So with that said, we have our storm here. Where could it be going? Well, uh, let's take a look at the satellite analysis and kind of break it down here. We have a high pressure off there towards the east, the intertropical convergence zone. We also have the southwest monsoon pushing in from this direction. I always remember this uh, anti, or excuse me, anti-cyclonic, yes, uh, circulation going around these high pressures or clockwise so the storm system is not going to be going in that direction towards that area at this time definitely uh, will not wanting to be doing that now uh, how about towards the west well it is slowly drifting over the Philippines but I think that southwest monsoon likely should keep it out of the South China Sea but it very well possibly could go this way but at this time, uh, most of the models at least are picking up on it, running along the western periphery of this high pressure following the uh, trough that's really kind of set up over this area and pushing off towards the north. Now, uh, this little area right in here is going to be playing a lot into it as well because it very well uh, could be dragged towards this area and eventually head off towards the north and then pull towards the west as some of the models have been showing here. Specifically, the no gaps really wants to pull it off in that direction and shove it back towards the west as well. Uh, not many of them are pulling it across the Philippines, but once again, if it does develop here, definitely will be enhancing that southwest monsoon. So flooding conditions, even if you don't see a landfall, very well could be on tap. Now here's what most of the models are saying at this time. You have the CMC, UK, no gaps, and GFS model all here developing this system within the next 24 hours. So there definitely is a risk here. So, uh, the no gaps is kind of the outlier. They're saying that was the one that was pulling it off there towards the east and then wants to shove it back towards the west in the long range. But most of them want to keep it in this direction, eventually actually impacting Taiwan. Uh, very possibility of some flooding conditions there, but once I said, and like I said though, remember if you had a low here, you have anti, or excuse me, cyclonic. Keep on getting this backwards today. Circulation going around it, be pulling moisture in out of the South China Sea, thus the flooding conditions. So I'm uh, definitely going to be continuing to watch this very closely into the coming days. But at this time, this is what the models are looking like, and lots of them actually are developing this into a very significant tropical system. 
And actually, here is a look at the GFS model outlook. And you see here through the next several days, it has this storm initializing, then pushes it off there towards the north, eventually impacting around the Taiwan or the southern Japanese islands areas and rushing off there towards China near the end of the model run. So still very long range on that. Uh, like I said yesterday, basically, though, anybody here from the uh, western portions of Japan, actually right around, I think, uh, Shikoku and Kyushu should be continuing to watch this very closely. And then across the Philippines, because if this storm system continues to drift off there towards the west, you very well could get the heavy rainfall there as well, and possibly some of these gusty winds with it. So anybody within this cone, I know it is absolutely massive, and you're probably thinking, oh, well, there's another meteorologist giving a gigantic cone, but I really do think... This is the potential where this could go. At this time, though, most of the models are actually pointing out here around Taiwan or the southern Japanese islands uh, where the potential for this to make landfall. But we still have to wait for this to initialize. I really do think strongly within the next 24 to 48 hours, we have a much, much better grasp on where exactly the storm system could be going. And while we have the satellite analysis up here, let's look across the rest of Eastern Asia here because around uh, southeastern China, Vicente, the remnants of Vicente, is still pulling moisture in out of the South China Sea. I saw actually a report just towards the east of Hong Kong, upwards of 364 millimeters in the past 24 hours, so very wet conditions currently occurring there. Also off towards the north, the remnants of the rainy season front, that's actually right in here. Uh, it's now farther towards the north. That's what's actually brought those devastating and deadly, deadly floods across Beijing last week. But also, uh, just off the map towards the west around Chongqing, there's also been numerous deaths due to this front that has still been battering the area for throughout the past week. So it's very uh, dangerous conditions continuing to occur. And then over Japan, well, like I said, though, the rainy season is over with, but a few isolated thunderstorms, as you can see, actually one right there near the end of the frame, continue to pop up. So don't be surprised if you do hear a rumble of thunder out here going through your weekend. That is all for right now, everybody. Thanks again for watching here at WesternPacificWeather.com. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comment box below. I always do appreciate the feedback. And also, it would help a lot if you hit the like button or if you subscribe. If you have not already subscribed, if you're watching this on YouTube, and also please search around the rest of the website if you're looking at this at Western Pacific Weather. We do have lots and lots of separate features to uh, check out here, uh, not just for tropicals, but also for the weather across much of Eastern Asia and the entire Western Pacific Basin. All right, stay safe out there, and thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye.